Although Europe is a beautiful and elegant continent year-round, travelers have recommended spring be the best season to visit. But for today's video, we will debunk that idea and try to prove that no matter what season you visit Europe, it will always have something to engrave in your core memory. And as a clearer example, we will talk about the summer season in Europe. It is known for having bright sunshine, abundant outdoor activities, and mesmerizing sunset, allowing you to capture the best summer photographs of your life. Do you like our videos? Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified of our latest videos. Without further ado, let's get started. Starting off the list at number 10 is Festa del Redentore, Italy. It is also known as the Redeemer Festival, one of the most beloved festivals in Venice, Italy. It is celebrated every third Sunday of July to commemorate the end of the plague of 1576 that killed 50,000 people. Imagine the deep history of this festival, so interesting right? And for you to enjoy it, make sure to participate in their weekend full of activities that traditionally start by blessing the Patriarch of Venice and walking from the steps of the Redeemer Church. One thing that you must not really miss is the fireworks display on St. Mark Basin that starts at 11.30 pm. Next at number 9 is Bayreuth Festival in Germany. Have you ever heard of the famous German composer Richard Wagner? Well, there is actually a festival in Germany to celebrate his music, and that is called the Bayreuth Festival. It is a musical festival held every July or August featuring performances of Wagner operas, especially his Der Ring de Nieblungen and Parsifal. There's actually a custom-built theater hall dedicated to the celebration of Bayreuth Festival, and it was supervised and designed by Wagner himself in the 1870s. Next in line at number 8 is Paleo Festival in Switzerland. Paleo Festival was once called the first folk festival of 1976, but now, you could never imagine the big crowd that annually lines up just to be present in the celebration of Paleo. Today, it is known as one of Europe's biggest open-air festivals that has always been sold out. The interesting thing about Paleo is that it celebrates the diversity of music because it features a great assortment of genres like rock, French chanson, world music, reggae, pop, electronic, and even classical music, so whatever genre fits your interests, you will surely find a favorite spot among Paleo's six stages. Another thing about Paleo is that it gives a spotlight to new artists and talents aside from featuring established celebrities. And just like other festivals, attendees can also enjoy other attractions such as circus acts, comedy acts, and other performances, including street theater. Coming in at number 7 is Siget Festival, Hungary. Siget Festival is one of Hungary's largest cultural festivals, first celebrated in 1993. Every year, in August, over 1,000 performances are held as celebration highlights. The reason why it is called a cultural festival is because it celebrates the diversity of arts, specifically performance arts. Its annual program always includes music of all genres, traditional and street theater, circus, puppets, literary, and installation and exhibition of artworks. Siget Festival is actually worth the trip and travel because you can get to experience many concerts and experiences on one site. So if you are a traveler who's looking for a lively and cultural event, or if you love arts in all forms, then Hungary is your place to go. Next at number 6 is Running of the Bulls, Spain. I bet you've heard about this world-famous festival in Spain where you can see people running and being chased after by bulls. This festival is called the Running of the Bulls Festival. As mentioned, this is a free-of-charge bull running over an 875-meter-long course in front of six fighting bulls accompanied by six bell oxen through the narrow streets of Pamplona. Usually, the run lasts for two to three minutes unless something unfortunate happens. The running of the bull happens as part of the celebration of fiestas in San Fermin between July 7 to 17 at 8 in the morning. The best thing about the running of the bulls festival is that it is completely free and is open to everyone ages 18 years old and above. But it is important to remember that as much as it looks fun, it is quite a dangerous festival, so police are on standby during the event and look out for drunk and misbehaving runners that may cause some difficulty in the festival. Let's continue with number 5, La Tomatina, Spain. Another world-famous festival is the Throwing of Tomato Festival called La Tomatina in Spain. Interestingly, it is known as the world's biggest food fight and battle of the tomato because of 140 tons of tomatoes being thrown at each other. More than 20,000 people, both local and tourists, participate in this festival every year every last Wednesday of August. 
The tomato fight usually lasts for an hour, and everyone looks crazy in orangey frenzy after the event. But aside from throwing tomatoes at each other, there are also some other activities during the festival, including paella cook-offs, parades, open-air parties, and fireworks displays. Next at number 4 is Edinburgh Fringe Festival, Scotland. The Edinburgh Fringe Festival is known as the greatest celebration of arts and culture on earth, and no one could really disagree because the festival lasts for three weeks and takes place in hundreds of stages all over the city. Artists and performers conduct concerts to feature their talents in all forms and genres for audiences of all kinds and ages. There are cabaret shows, theater, comedy, dance, circus, musical, and even children's shows to entertain every attendee. It is like a huge event to showcase all kinds of talents, even writing and performing poetry. Coming in at number 3 on the list is, Tomorrowland, Belgium. As the name itself implies, Tomorrowland Festival in Belgium features a concert of Tomorrow aka, a futuristic festival. It is the most watched and most famous electronic dance music festival in the world and is happening on a yearly basis in the second half of July. The event also lasts for three weeks. It started in 2005 with the introduction of the dance aficionados The Beer Brothers, Michael and Manu, and now has gained popularity because it also invites famous artists and celebrities worldwide to be part of the performance. Over 100 DJs also participate in the event to make sure that the event is alive and the people are rocking. Because of the festival's great success, it has gone international, spreading party vibes to other countries. Next at number 2 on the list is, Roskilde Festival, Denmark. This musical and cultural festival called Roskilde Festival has been giving life and energy to the entertainment and fun side of Northern Europe for more than five decades. It started in 1971 and is still being celebrated today. Attendees of the festival branded Roskilde as the Dane counterpart of Coachella, Lollapalooza, and Glastonbury. It is held annually from the end of June until the beginning of July. To make it even crazier, it features famous artists worldwide performing in its more than 170 acts. Some of the artists who graced the event were Bruno Mars, Cardi B, and Eminem, Taylor Swift, and Nirvana. But the best thing about Roskilde is that aside from putting value to music and performance, the festival organization is built with the spirit of activism and volunteerism, where all profit after expenses are donated to charities. So we can look at it as a party with a purpose. And now, the number one on the list is, Glastonbury Festival, UK. Of course, the most iconic festival in Europe is Glastonbury Festival, which annually takes place in mid-June. This is a festival where jamboree bands, theater, healing, and performing arts are celebrated. It has been considered by many as the largest and biggest music festival in the world that celebrates culture and diversity. Every year, it features famous artists from different entertainment industries performing in Glastonbury. But this is not an ordinary music concert. When you attend Glastonbury Festival, expect a sense of enlightenment, a rude awakening, and other bizarre and otherworldly happenings. Aside from the performances that take place on six main stages, it also features a circus and theater, green fields, and the King's Meadow for a complete package of amusement. Don't worry, if you run out of money and get hungry during the event, you can go to the tent of Hare Krishna, where you can get free food and healing chants. And there you go. These are the best summer festivals in Europe that you may try to attend and explore if you are looking for a different and meaningful festival experience. Share with us what you think about this video by leaving a comment below. Please like this video and hit the subscribe button. You may also ring the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our future uploads. So where do you want to go next? See you there in our next video.